Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will be going to explain you one very interesting question. And I have seen this question comes frequently in interviews as well as in university examination. See, question is why to do logical addressing, even physical addressing exists. So, first of all, you should be having idea about what is logical addressing and what is physical addressing. Let me explain you that. After that, I will give you one practical example by which you can easily understand why should we have logical addressing, even physical addressing exists. So, first of all, you should know what is logical addressing. See, logical addressing that we do it with the usage of IP address and that we do it at network layer. So, network layer performs logical addressing with the usage of IP address. IP address that is of 32 bits, right? See, here I am considering IPv4 IP address. There are two types of IP address, IPv4 and IPv6. In majority of cases, people are using IPv4 IP address. That's why I am just considering example of IPv4 IP address that is having size of 32 bits. See, IP address follows hierarchical approach for addressing. So, here first of all, you need to know logical addressing that we do it at network layer and that we do it with the usage of IP address and IP address follows hierarchical approach. While when we talk about physical addressing, then physical addressing is done at data link layer and that we do it with the usage of MAC address. And MAC address is a physical address that is having size of 48 bits and you can say it is having size of 12 digit hex number. So, MAC address that is a physical address of device, right? And that physical addressing that is been done at data link layer with the usage of MAC address. And you should know MAC address is defined by manufacturer. So, unique MAC address will be there with every device. Like with computer, we have network interface card, NIC card. So, that NIC card is having well defined MAC address that is physical address, right? Likewise, with every computer, with every smartwatch, smart tablet, smartphones, right? There will be well defined MAC address and that is been defined by manufacturer. So, you can easily understand one thing. See, MAC address that does not follow any hierarchical approach. MAC address will be random for random device that is defined by manufacturer, right? Now, I will give you one practical example by which you can understand why we need to have logical addressing, even physical addressing exists, right? So, here I am considering one example in which here this LAN belongs to my home and here I am just considering one intermediary LAN to reach out at Google's LAN. There is a possibility that there can be thousands of LANs in between. See, here when we, when I say intermediary, then there is a always possibility that there can be thousands of intermediary LANs to communicate from India to US Google server. But for simplicity, I am just considering one intermediary LAN. Now, one thing that you need to note down, see, router does not do physical addressing, right? Here for example only, I am just explaining you why we should be having logical addressing. So, first I will be explaining you what will happen as if physical addressing is done. So, here let us say this is my computer that is having number 1 and I am requesting for a data from Google server. Let us say with this Google server there are 500 nodes and from this node I wanted to access one data. Let us say this, this node is having number 101 right now see what will happen as if i as if i request for a data like i'll be sending one frame over here right i'll be sending one frame over here to this router now this router is not having an idea about where exactly this where exactly this mac address is there which is belonging to this google server why the reason is in entire globe there are billions of nodes so, obviously, there will be billions of MAC address. So, you cannot store billions of MAC address in the router, right? Otherwise, your router will be very costly. 
compared to the devices which you use right so router is not having idea about what is what is the exact location of what is the exact location of physical address so what this router will do router will broadcast this frame message so it will broadcast this frame message right and you see that message will come over here obviously there is a possibility that this router may be connected with 10 lens right but i'm just showing one lan over here now see what will happen this message will come to this router now this router is also not having idea about what is the location of this what is the location of this final destination right so what this router will do this router will broadcast the message it will broadcast the message right so it will also broadcast it over here now finally when this broadcasted message when it reaches over here then this router is having idea okay this is where our final destination is so it will reach over here right but before it reaches over here what will happen before it reaches there before it reaches there it is it is broadcasted to billions of nodes practically right now i'm just talking about one intermediary lan but you just think about a case where one router is connected with thousands of lens and with thousands of lens there are thousands of nodes and you are broadcasting the message and this is about single message what if billions of people are broadcasting message like this too much congestion isn't it so it is next to impossible that you can forward message as per physical addressing in huge internet so in huge internet we do logical addressing we don't do physical addressing now let me give you one analogy like how how logical addressing is done like for example as if i say as if i say right now we are talking about india right so that is what one country now from country you can talk about states like gujarat state right so from state you can talk about cities like ahmedabad surat right from city you can talk about street like some road is there or some mall is there right from street you can talk about society from street you can talk about society from society you can have home number right so as if as if hierarchical approach is there then your frame will not go to everywhere right if you have hierarchical approach then your frame will not be broadcasted everywhere like first it will go to the country so from here directly it will go to usa in usa first it will go to california in california it will be going to some street and inside street it will go to the lan of google and from google's lan it can give that message to respected node right so if it is happening in this way then you will not be broadcasting see that is possible by having ip addressing or you can say logical addressing in which when you forward frame over here then this router this router will forward frame over here it will not broadcast over here what it will do is it will re forward to further router and this router is having idea about okay this frame belongs to this node so now this this request can be accepted so instead of broadcasting message everywhere by logical addressing we can reduce too much congestion right not only this there are so many functions and features that we can have like in my previous video i have told you see at network layer we can have logical addressing we can have subnetting supernetting we can have routing we can have fragmentation so all these features are possible because of logical addressing only with the usage of physical addressing with the usage of this much physical addressing it is not at all possible so see previously whatever features that i have told that was possible because of logical addressing only but i thought i should give you proper reasoning that's why i have made this video right still if anything that you would like to share it with me please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video